everybody, welcome back to the Adventures of Dad Cube. Well, today I'm going to do something that um, I'm going to pass something on to you that I've always kept to myself here. Yeah? One of my great joys in life, and one thing I'm really, really good at, is wrapping presents. Yeah? We've got a big C word coming up soon. I don't like mentioning Christmas this time of the morning, you know what I mean? This time of the morning, this time of the old evening, the, the, what I'm trying to say, the calendar month, just going on through November. Yeah, so it's us. But this is where my Christmas starts, yeah? Because I'm such a good parcel wrapper or present wrapper that people come to me from all around Essex to wrap their presents. I tell you no lies. They all come around, they say, please think, I do all voluntary because I'm that kind of person. Just do it. So I'm such a good geezer, I start now wrapping presents. Yeah, and I am perfect at it. Really, really good. To get a good, to get a wrap it, to wrap a good present, you've got to have tools. You've got to have a great pair of scissors. Fantastic paper, don't go to shit paper, get a really, really the good, good paper here, yeah? and perfect set of tape, which is sticky. Not this crappy old rolling guy who cleans up and all that. The really, really good, good set of tape, yeah? So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you the best way to do a present. Not just an easy present, a little box or something. This is a fucking awkward present, yeah? Let me show you how to do it. Right, here we go. The, the basics that you need, yeah? You need a really, really, really good paper. Yeah, the best paper you can get. I mean, I, I bought this, this was like 99p for three pieces. Yeah, three rolls. I mean, that is pucker paper. The really, really best, yeah? A good pair of scissors, really, really sharp scissors, right? These these will cut fucking pubic hair. This is the best pubic fucking you can get. I mean, I've seen, why am I going about pubic hair? Right, these cut anything. Where did pubic hair come from? Cut anything, good, good scissors, right? It's sellotape. You need a good bit of sellotape with this roller. Yeah, then you don't lose it on that. You don't start getting this fucking bit, you can't get it. You know what I mean? It's just there. Yeah, when you do this, you want to stay calm and collected. You don't want to go fucking mad because you can't get a bit of... Right, you know what I mean? So you get yourself a good tool. Yeah? Good tools makes it perfect, yeah? So what I'm gonna do, I always do, I always start off, I'm gonna wrap the first prezi. When the prezi is it's easy to do a prezi, but when you get awkward prezi, that's where it comes, that's where I come into my own, yeah? This is the prezi we're gonna do, right? <laughs> this is Dan's present, right? I always do Dan's first, one of his, one of his presents. Many, one of many I must have because he's spoiled it with shit. But hang on, no, but don't tell him what I've got, for Christ's sake. Yeah, this is a secret. Once this is wrapped, no one else knows. So I've got a trash use lot. Don't tell Dan that he's got a motor control car. Alright? I fucking point this is a really, really dear one as well. It's a really, really good one, right? So this is what I'm gonna wrap. Right? Don't tell him I'm gonna wrap it. See, it's a bins in all that. It's a really, it's awkward to do. Right, I'll do it. I'll show you that anyway. The best way to do it. Good paper, scissors, and the machine. That's all you need, all right? Let's do this. Right, here we go. It's easy peasy, lemon squeezy, right? So I said, always work with the good paper. Yeah, good paper, first of all. That's what you need, yeah? So it's an awkward box. You said, really real good. Just measure out what you want to do. You don't want to waste paper either. You know what I mean? Because I've got loads and loads and loads of presents that I've got to do. So don't waste paper. Good paper, good folding, yeah? Because it's why I think I'm really, really good at this. Because I was really, really good at origami. I mean, as a child, I mean, this little Chinese kid I used to go to school with, he taught me it, yeah? And his dad taught me it. And it was kind of passed down to me. You know, origami is the perfect thing way to do it, yeah? So good shot scissors, as you see now, perfect scissors, right? Just bring it in, fold it perfectly. You know, you, want it, you don't want many beans in it or that. When you do the fold, when you do a little, the fold it over at the end, you want it to look like a envelope. Do it for the look of an envelope? You want to get the envelope look completely. It is beautiful. Truly, truly beautiful. Don't grab a ball either. I could have got Father Christmas and all that. I didn't want to get the old Father Christmas. I just like a nice Christmas box. You know what I mean? It is perfect. First thing you do, stand it on the old end. Make sure the paper's nice and straight so it matches up. Bit of silly tape on it. That is perfect. Look at that, look. See? You can tell I'm a fish. I mean, this, this, I mean, this doesn't come with just normal. This comes with practice and practice and practice. All the bloody time. I love it. Oh, it makes me feel so Christmassy as well, that's what the thing is. Christmas here. Oh, look at that, see, look. Bend that down there, I just take it in. Beautiful, beautiful lines. That's what I've got to do. Here you come here, look, you're watching this, hope you're watching this at home. That's it, beautiful. Yeah, yeah get your mum in, get your mum in, because she, this is good, pass this on here. Yeah? Look at that. I mean, that could be the fucking post office, could it, eh? Hey? Beautiful. Perfect. Yes, that's it. Hold that up there. So the same thing, the machine. Just take it off, it goes off the light. Don't waste it. If it gets caught on there, just don't worry about it, because that will come out later. 
Yeah. Even though sex workers make up like this like in the game. But I put it on there. Beautiful. Really, really lovely. This is the art. This is the art there. This piece here to bring it up. Look at this. Hang on. When I've done it, I'll show it to the camera. Look at it. Let me show it to the camera. Now. One more bit. So it's like. Just to make it look parker. Look at that. I mean, that is bloody beautiful, yeah? If you get it like that, you can come along, knock on the old door, and give me a hand wrapping all these fucking presents up. Alright? Perfect. Right, and that sort of thing. Just flip it over. Fold it in. Perfect. And just bring the other one over. Just that right hand side over and the left hand side. But always the origami comes in the game. Do the old folds. You know, if you've never done origami, you don't know what I'm bloody on about. You've lost the art. You've lost the art that will never ever die. Yeah, that's it. Perfect like that. I'll just bring that down. Just measure it up. I want to get this perfect. The edge is perfect, yeah? This is what you've got to do. Oh, God. I knew I was good, but I didn't know I was this good. You know what I mean? Bit of center tape. Beautiful. Just hold that end, pop it up like that, and put it on. It's easy. It's easy when you know how. Look at that. Oh, that is good. I mean, I am good. Perfect. Another pretty done. So full of my things, sharp scissors, nice set of tape, the best paper you can get, all right? Happy wrapping of the presents. And Merry Christmas, I know it's early. Looking good. See you all later, bye! Come on, admit it, you thought I was gonna fuck it up, didn't you? I, I am a very, very good wrapper of presents, yeah? Trust me. See you all later.